So I hit my max fast requests in cursor this month, and I really wanted to keep building with the fast requests because without it, it's just basically not very useful. So I opted into the usage base pricing, and I'm currently almost at $5. And so using those $5 of credits, this is what I managed to build out. So I have yet another side project that I'm working on. We got some placeholder stuff for the landing page. But the idea is that you can add your site to Site Sensei, and it's going to crawl your site and your site map and try to get as much context and information about your site. And then you can have your users chat and ask questions directly to this widget instead of having to dive to your site and try to find the information that they need. So let's just kind of walk through. This is built with uh, Tansac Start and Convex for the back end. I got authentication set up. And if we go ahead and click on the dashboard, I have a nice little onboarding process that I added out. So let's click on add our first site. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and say 525 Pizza. This is just some random pizza company website I found. But the idea is that we want to grab the site map from this, which should have like three main sites. And then it should crawl after I click start crawling, it should crawl this site and you'll see in just a second, all the URLs kind of pop up as it's, you know, fanning out and doing concurrent crawling and gathering all the information that we need for this site. Now I haven't tried the crawling on really large sites with a huge site map. I'm just trying to do some basic, simple stuff for right now. And then I may expand and try to test with some larger sites. But what these processes are doing is that they're kicking off a workflow that's firing off separate convex actions. And these actions are basically crawling the site, downloading the HTML, converting the HTML to markdown, and then it uses that markdown and it creates a vector embedding so that later I can search over all of the context of the website using vector searching. And then I feed that as context to the AI when uh, you wanna actually chat with it. Okay, so let's continue to the dashboard. This is all done. Again, this is a work in progress and I think I only spent like a day trying to build this out or a day or two with uh, the $5 of fast credits I talked about. So we can go here and we can actually see the different pages that it crawled over. So if I click on a link like the menu.php, you'll see that it basically grabbed all of the different menu items that they have on the site. Uh, I can also check out the about page and you can get more information about the hours. So we're gonna try to actually chat with this. So let me grab the site ID here. So another thing I'm working on is a widget. So like this is something that a developer could install on their website and then they would automatically hook into Site Sensei and get the chat widget to show up. So I'm just updating the site ID here on the global scope. So when the script runs, it knows how to like configure properly. So this is what the widget currently looks like. So if you install that script on your website, you'll get a little chat widget. I need to improve this. You click it you will get a chat session. You see the chat session popped up over here, and now it actually starts tracking when users are chatting with your application. So let's go over here and say, what are your hours? And then that's going to search over the context of all those sites that sites since they just crawled. And then eventually we should get a response back. All right, so here we go. We got the hours over here. Okay, cool. Do you all sell garlic knots? So it says based on the context, there's no garlic knots, but it does offer garlic bread and some cheesy garlic bread. Okay, what other things, uh, what type of pizzas do you sell? And as we're chatting with it, I do wanna show like on the left, this is technically like the admin dashboard, right? So if you're an admin, you can click on this and you can see the chats that their users had, which can help you as a designer or a UX person truly understand what are people confused about? What are they trying to get? What's the most relevant information on your site? And as people kind of make new sessions, you can go through here and see the questions that they asked and also see the response that your AI gave back. So that's kind of about it. I have the ability to switch sites. So if I wanted to go and create a new site, I could do that and manage multiple sites with this. I got a settings page with a button that doesn't actually do anything. This delete site doesn't do anything. I got a delete user uh, somewhere. If I go to the user setting, I got a user account settings. I can delete the account here, which doesn't actually do anything. So yeah, that is as far as I got with $5 cursor credits. There's still a lot more that I'd have to do to basically, you know, spruce this up, make it look nicer. I, there's a lot of features I have planned out to try to add to this, but we'll see how far I'll take this. I think this is a potentially good SaaS product. I know there's others out there already. There's probably tons of others out there. So I'm pr probably um, late in the game on that aspect, but at least I'm learning, having some fun, and I'll probably teach you some stuff along the way when I get this stuff all deployed out. By the way, if you guys have a feature you think I should add to this, or if you guys think this is just a dumb idea, let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll reevaluate what I'm doing. But so far, I'm having fun building this. 
All right, like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join. If you want to find a place to talk to me directly or just hang out with some other developers, the link should be in the description below. Have a good day. Happy coding.